All right, hey, what's up folks? It's your favorite talking mustache. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be looking at the hydrolysis of nitriles. Uh, this reaction is basically uh, converting uh, a nitrile group to a carboxylic acid, and our reagents are H2O, H3O+, and heat. Format of this video is a little bit different. I'm using a writing tablet instead of a whiteboard. I'm gonna see what works best. Uh, I forgot to get my tea, give me a minute. So this reaction isn't particularly difficult. The reagents are simple, it's water, uh, H3O+, or some sort of source of uh, uh, H plus uh, and heat. Uh, so let's get started. So we're going to start off over here with our nitrile. <clears throat> and what's going to happen is we're going to have the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen remove or attack one of the hydrogens on the H3O plus. So we're going to attack and the, this bond right here is going to break and collapse towards the oxygen. This is reversible, but essentially what we're going to end up with is our protonated nitrile over here. Okay. Now, our protonated nitrile will undergo resonance. You don't always have to show this, but I'm showing it here as a proof of concept. Uh, it will undergo resonance, and what that means is you can have these, this bond right here between the C triple bond and break, and you will form a carbocation. Now, what's going to happen is H2O, which we just made in the previous step, is going to come in and play in this reaction. The lone pairs from oxygen, either one, doesn't really matter, is going to come in and attack this carbocation. When that happens, you're going to form the following. At this point, what's going to happen is we're going to have another water molecule come in, and it's going to remove one of these hydrogens on our uh, protonated hydroxyl group. So the OH2 group, that OH2 plus group that just formed, we're going to remove one of those hydrogens. How do we do that? H2O that I just said is going to come in and remove um, one of these hydrogens. These electrons are here going to collapse towards oxygen. When we do that, we're going to form H3O plus, and now we just have a hydroxyl group because we removed one of those hydrogens. Perfect. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to have the lone pairs on nitrogen come in and attack or remove these hydrogens, or one hydrogen, sorry, about this, and remove one of these hydrogens from the H3O plus group. These electrons are going to collapse towards uh, oxygen. Notice the trend here with this reaction is you're basically uh, forming water, uh, forming water, then it forms into H3O plus, and then H3O plus. There's just this constant transfer of protons. Okay? With that, now we form our protonated amide. We form our protonated amide. What's going to happen now is again, resonance. You don't have to show this, but it is very helpful uh, as a proof of concept when you're studying this stuff for the first time. You're going to build a double bond. This OH group is going to donate electrons and build a C double bond O. When it does that, carbon can have a maximum of four bonds. If you have five, you've got a hellfire. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to break this C double bond N, and the lone pairs are going to collapse towards nitrogen. In doing so, we still have our protonated amide, okay? And now we have the resonance structure of it. What's going to happen is now H2O will come in. H2O is going to do what? It's going to come in and attack this carbon atom. When it does that, you're going to break the C double bond O. You're going to break the C double bond O. Electrons collapse towards oxygen. I'm repeating myself here, but at this point you guys get uh, how this mechanism works, or how mechanisms in general work. Okay, when that happens, we form this, where we have uh, our OH group, okay? We have our newly added OH2 plus group, and essentially what's gonna happen is, we now want to kick out the NH2 group, right? That's the ultimate goal, because we're going from a nitrile to a carboxylic acid, and carboxylic acids are just R, C, double bond, O, OH, right? So how are we going to kick out this NH2 group? Well, we, what we want to do is we're going to have these lone pairs over here come in and remove this hydrogen from the OH2 plus group that just entered the, 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 the system, if you will. These electrons are going to collapse towards oxygen, and we're going to end up with the following. We're going to have NH3 plus, and we're going to have two OH groups. Now, to kick out NH3+, either one of these OH uh, groups can build a double bond, so up to you. I'm gonna choose this one up here. You're gonna build a C, you're gonna build a double bond between C and OH, then you're gonna kick out NH3. When you do that, you're basically gonna have this protonated carboxylic acid group, or protonated carbonyl of the carboxylic acid, rather. To remove this, we're basically at the carboxylic acid. All we need to do is remove this hydrogen over here. To remove that hydrogen, we're gonna have our NH3 that we just kicked out come in and attack it's going to take uh, the lone pairs on nitrogen are going to come in and attack, take this hydrogen. These electrons are going to collapse towards this, uh, the oxygen of the carbonyl. Bada bing, bada boom. We form our carboxylic acid and NH4 plus. As you can see, not a very difficult mechanism. Very straightforward. Your reagents are just H2O, H3O plus, and heat. Rewatch this video a couple times, and you'll do uh, just well.
Good luck, people.